I think this is going to be a series of videos of how I'm going to turn this 24 foot V nose enclosed trailer into uh, an RV or toy hauler. So first we'll probably start with some windows, insulation, then move on to the bathroom and AC and the rest of the stuff. So stick around, probably going to be a pretty long process, I'm hoping two months get it all finished up, but we'll see how it goes. So first thing first, gonna take all the plywood off. Not sure what I'm gonna do on top. So these have slight dent in them. So I'm not sure I'm gonna insulate it. I might add like a L metal and drop it down an extra inch and do a two inch insulation on top. Haven't decided yet. But uh, I think I'll start in the back. Take the plywood off, insulate it, put some windows in. And then the bathroom is going to be in the front area, a small counter with a fridge, and the rest is going to be open so I can fit my side-by-side -side and couple ATVs in the back. And of course I'm going to try to keep it lightweight so not, not too much stuff is going to go in here. We'll see how it's going to turn out. Got some of that plywood removed, probably gonna have to replace a lot of it. I mean, it's cut short, got holes in it. You know, redo some of this wiring. All right, figured I'd put a couple of windows here. right here I'm gonna drill a hole might hit a stud and move over one all right go on the inside check it yep right there gonna mark it out I'm gonna cut some uh, tubing weld it in
Got this one one inch by one inch tubing. I'm gonna cut in two and gonna weld it and gonna weld it right across here all the way to that stud. Same thing on top. Alright, so I screwed up on this window. I cut the corner square. And it's supposed to look like this. Because here's the window. <laughs> so I had to order a slightly larger window than this opening, so it's gonna be about 8 inch wider. So I'm gonna make it work. But yeah, I screwed up. Yeah, it fits. So I'm gonna insulate the gate, the tailgate. Got the plywood removed. Just gonna glue some foam in there. I'm done insulating the tailgate. I left this overlapping. So I'm gonna wrap this metal edge right here. I glue this part down so it's somewhat insulated too. And uh, moving on to the next step.
All right, this is what I'm doing for installation on the ceiling. I got this uh, flooring mat, that just cheapest one. So I figured it would be like an extra installation and sort of a heat barrier for the metal studs. I'm just tucking it over, over the metal studs across or metal beams, roof beams, whatever you want to call them. And I'm gluing it to the uh, ceiling sheeting and then putting insulation boards in and then over it and then over it I put this reflective uh, foam and then finish it off with eighth inch Luan kind of screwing it into the studs This is the progress. So that's what the roof looks like so far. I still have to finish this. But I'm waiting on uh, new axle beams. So I can uh, raise the trailer a little bit because this is a four inch drop and these wheel wells After I raise the trailer up, I'm gonna cut them and lower them about four inches and re-weld them 